Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. This morning I woke up to find that the postman had left me my new Blade Runner 2049 action figure of love. This is from NECA and this is a character from the movie I think that came out in 2017. It's a follow-up to the 80s classic and explores a lot of the same themes and a lot of the same aspects as the first Blade Runner movie. And expands upon the lore. In this one it seems that replicants are allowed under earth. But they have to be kind of modified and kept under control. The main character Kay played by Brian Gosling. Ends up uncovering a mystery. And as a result he has to go look for Rick Deckard in order to find answers. I enjoyed the movie. I did feel it meandered somewhat in the centre. But I think at the heart of it it was very much a Blade Runner movie and had very kind of compelling interesting characters and dangerous characters and I think Love is the perfect example of one of these she's very much like the likes of Ray Batty or Pris from the original movie these kind of very capable intelligent and dangerous artificial humans and yeah uh, Sylvia Hoex who plays her Gave a magnificent performance and uh, she was one of my favourite characters in the movie. So I had to get her in action figure form. She's actually part of series 2. The first uh, series had uh, Kay and Deckard. And the other one in series 2 was Wallace. Jared Leto's character who I thought was a bit dull. Um, I would have, if I was to make a series 2 line, I would have put... Batista's character in it, the, the replicant that Batista played. But that's neither here nor there. Let's have a look at the character and the figure itself. So, yeah, they got a fantastic sculpt in the face. It, it genuinely looks like uh, Sylvia Hoix. And she's a Dutch actress and model. And they really, really captured her look and likeness really well. And Love is this kind of very badass, dangerous kind of uh, mercenary and right hand right hand um right hand man or person or kind of uh a troubleshooter for Wallace and uh she has this very femme fatale ice queen look and and they really caught her uh, uh her resting bitch face uh in, in the figure she just she looks like the total ice queen and my friend my friend uh Zuza who adores Blade Runner uh, enjoyed it and enjoyed the character but she did feel the character was a bit OP she was a bit kind of too too badass for the for the series but I thought she was cool I liked the idea of this kind of replicant femme fatale uh, and again it's a throwback to the first movie with the likes of Pris and Rachel there, there's there's elements of those characters in this figure uh, great articulation head can be moved all the way around uh, there is Dual joints in the um, dual joints in the arms, so you can you can move them fairly good for uh, posing and articulation. Again with this arm, uh, really nice detail on the clothes. The jacket, just the level of detail on the jacket. There, it looks like a, a genuine kind of like leather jacket, and 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 nice work on the stitching, and nice work on her derriere. Uh, and again, the the costume is very cool. And the the black riding boots with the the military laces on them, I, I I thought that was cool as well. Just a nice addition to show what kind of stuff the character is wearing. She has this kind of dominatrix ice queen look about her, and it's it's really nice, really well sculpted figure. And again, I um, had to get her because she's a, a, an awesome character. And just again, just the detail in the uh, figure is really nice, really good. Uh, I'll show some of the accessories she gets. She comes with a second hand uh, for holding. Uh, she has uh, two blades and she she needs this hand to hold the other blade. Uh, she also comes with kind of uh, the, the dual barrel pistol that uh, you see a lot of the Blade Runners carry and really nice detail on it as well. I'll just zoom in close so you can see. Even the screw holes in the handle. It's really nice and it fits in nice and snug into her hand here. So she can hold it like that. So she can she can be all kinds of badass with her pistol. 
and she also comes with two blades two kind of uh, butterfly knife like blades almost like surgical instruments but yeah the detail on them is really nice but it's obviously a flip out knife and this is a, a butterfly knife and the smaller one fits into her hand nice and easy but the other one you need the alternate hand to hold it I think her pit I think her pistol hand is a bit too is a bit too uh, big to hold it so you kind of have to you have to switch out the hands so just put that in there so she can hold she can hold the blades in both hands which is cool you can put her into a couple of different poses where she's getting ready to slash someone at the bits so let's put in this blade here as well yeah she can she can hold she can hold blades so she's she's ready to cut someone to fucking ribbons but yeah cool figure uh definitely definitely one i've been wanting to get in my hands on for a while so uh yeah uh nice addition to my collection definitely going to try and work her into a stock motion video fairly soon uh have you got any of the blade runner 2049 figures if so, what do you think of them? Would you like to see NECA release some of the classic Blade Runner characters? And uh, have you seen Blade Runner 2049? If so, what do you think of the movie? Leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.